Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's webinar where we're gonna show you some things that you may not already know. So as you know, New Order is a great way for you to send out your line sheets and to place orders when you're at market. One thing that we're gonna be going over today is how you can use New Order in other ways besides line sheets and orders. Some topics that we're going to discuss include our branded homepage, our media gallery, how to update some lifestyle images on your portal, and we'll also discuss the online trade show. So this webinar is gonna be great for those of you who are admin users, but if you're not an admin user, not to worry, uh, it'd be great to take this information to that person that's in charge of um, making all those backend changes. So that way you can make sure that your portal is up to date and that you have your homepage, updated media gallery, online trade show, and then some lifestyle images. So we're gonna start off with our homepage. So as you see here, we have our menu bar and we have our home icon sitting here at the top. When your homepage is created and marked as published, the first page that the buyers will see when they log in is this new homepage. So if you don't have this homepage set up and you click on the home and you're brought to your products, this is how you'll know that your homepage isn't set up. So we'll wanna make sure that we click our home icon. And for those of you who are the admin user, what we can do is click edit mode. If you click on your home icon and you're not seeing anything populate here, how we'll get that started is our settings. And then we're gonna to go to dashboard settings and then you can click Yes, and that is how you'll be able to create this great branded homepage. So this branded homepage is a way for you to customize a curated shopping experience. So think of it as a, a similarity to your e-com site. So when you log on to most branded e-com sites, we're brought to an initial page that's going to highlight new arrivals and may highlight a sale. This is the same idea here. So uh, here in one of our example portals, we see products, line sheets, media orders. We're also seeing ATS. We're seeing um, dresses. So these are curated assortments of products. So all of these images here are clickable. So what that means is when you are adding your images and we're adding our titles here, to what we call a component or a widget, um, we can actually add a URL. So this is what the final uh, product looks like and you'll notice that we have published. When we wanna add to this page or when we want to edit what's already existing, we're gonna move into our edit mode. So you'll notice here that we have this little settings icon pop up in the right hand corner. If I wanted to make a change to one of our uh, images here that's already existing, I'll click on my settings and I could easily edit my title. I could easily swap out my photo and I can also change the URL. The width here is speaking to the size of the image. So I see here we have one third. That means we have three images in a row. If we chose 25, we could customize that to have four in a row. 100% is going to be a banner, and um, two thirds, of course, is going to take up two thirds, and then a one third space would sit next to it. So, very customizable. So, to explain here, these four are the 25%. Uh, uh, then we have uh, three one thirds followed by two 50%. So that is what the width is referring to, is the length of the image. The title, of course, we see here, this is going to uh, explain where this clickable is going. So if I were to click on the ATS here, it's going to bring me to the product gallery with ATS already filtered. So all we'd have to do is go to our products page or our line sheets or a custom list, copy that URL here that we see at the top of the page, and then we can paste it. If we wanted to add a new widget here, all we have to do is drag and drop a file. The great thing about the image requirement here is that we just require that it's under a certain size and that is uh, 60 megabytes. So 
as long as the image is a JPEG or a PNG, it's going to upload okay, and it's going to reformat itself depending on what your width is. So don't worry about reformatting your images to fit here. It's actually going to format for you. So one great thing about uh, being able to upload a PNG is you can take a screenshot and upload it. Uh, you know, as long as the quality is okay, it'll still look great. So just keep that in mind that we're pretty flexible here with what type of image file you can upload. The URL link here, again, uh, the example would be uh, linking to your products and filtering for a specific category and copying that URL. We can also uh, copy and paste a URL to your media gallery. That's something that we'll be getting into next, uh, but those are just some great examples. Um, once we have added our components and we have edited our existing ones, all we have to do is make sure publish is marked. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom of the page we have featured line sheets. So these are actually going to pull for you. You don't have to worry about adding them here. So it's going to pull your first eight published line sheets. And it's also going to pull in the exact same order that you see in the line sheets tab. So what that means is if you want to change the order of your featured line sheets on your homepage, all you would have to do is re-merchandise that in the line sheets tab. So this is really um, a great way to give your buyers a great first experience when they're logging in. You're directing them towards certain products, whether it's ATS, new arrivals, maybe discounted styles. So you're making it very easy for them to shop, in addition to calling out some line sheets that you want them to be directed to first. So again, this is going to be available uh, to edit for those of you who are admin users, but not to worry, if you're not an admin user, you can reach out to whoever hand in the back end for you and they can easily create it. So the next thing that I'm gonna uh, show you guys is our media gallery. So that's actually gonna be in our admin section. So I'm gonna go pop into brand admin and I'll show you how we can add lookbooks, we can add press, we can add video. So this is really great to keep updated, especially as you're launching a new season. So we'll go to brand information. And then next we'll go to manage media. So in this area of new order on, in our admin section here, we'll see that we have these four different tabs. We have gallery, press, video, and assets. Example of what you would add in a gallery would be a lookbook um, or any sort of lifestyle imagery that you wanted to showcase. So it's very simple to add here. We just say add new campaign gallery. We'll title it. So maybe this is spring 2018 lookbook. We'll make sure it's marked as active. This means that our buyers have visibility. They're able to see it. Add a description and then drag and drop our images in JPEG format. Then all we have to do is press save. After we do that, we can go ahead and edit our hotspots. So think of the hotspots as a tag. When your buyer is viewing these images, the tags allow them to be directed straight to that product. So what that means is your lookbooks, your press, these are all going to be shoppable, meaning your buyers will be directed straight to it. So this is um, you know, an image here. I see that our pants are tagged. All we would have to do is search for that product, and then we can easily tag it. So if I search for the product and I say add hotspot, I click here and I save all. So if you have some lifestyle images, highly suggest adding them here, create a lookbook, and then you'll also be able to make it shoppable with your hotspots. If you have press, we'll click on the press tab. We'll say add new gallery. Very simple to fill out here. We'll title that gallery, make sure it's active so buyers can see it. We can add a caption, date, link, and again, the images. Once we press save, we'll also be able to add hotspots to that. If you have video content, this is a great place to add it as well. So we can add new. All we have to do is title it, mark as active, and upload our file. You'll notice that we do accept a lot of different video files. So as long as you have a video and it, it's saved in one of these formats, uh, you should be all set to add that here.
And then lastly, we have our assets. So assets are is any sort of um, documentation that you would allow your buyers to download on their own. So what you could do is, is upload a lookbook file here, a press kit, a size guide, any information that you would allow your buyers to download themselves. For the assets, this will have to be saved as a zip file. Um, if you have a lookbook and it's not saved as a zip file, there are some uh, websites that you can go to that will convert it for you. So not to worry. And of course, you're, uh, you can always reach out to our support team at heroes at neworder.com and they can assist you with that. But this is a great way to add some content here that you want your buyers to be able to view and to download themselves. So keeping your your media gallery updated is very important because we can link this to our homepage. So this kind of circles back to where we started. So for example, um, if I am in my media gallery and I select one of my lookbooks, I can easily copy and paste that URL. And we can, so here we have our men's lookbook. Here's the URL. So I can copy this here, head back to my home page, uh, make sure I'm in edit mode. I could say add widget. I'm going to paste my URL. I can say spring lookbook, choose my width, add my image and press save. So when you're keeping your media gallery updated, you can also update your homepage as well. So you're directing your buyer somewhere. Uh, this way, when they log in, they can take a look at your lookbook and it's also shoppable. So even though you're not directing them to a tab in the product gallery, where of course that is shoppable as well, you're directing them to your lookbook in addition to the product since they're all going to be tagged with your hotspots. So it's definitely something that you'll want to take advantage of because with this homepage, it's very simple to link pages within New Order like your media gallery. Um, next, I'll show you how we can add some lifestyle images within New Order. So I'm gonna pop back over to Brand Admin and we're gonna go to the tab called Customize Your Portal. If you're familiar with the splash page, that is the first image that pops up when you log in. If you have that added currently, um, this is the tab that you can edit that. We do suggest that when you have your home page created, the splash page um, becomes obsolete because your home page is essentially a new, improved, updated um, splash page. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so we're going to go back to brand information and it's customize your portal. It's very easy to edit these images. All we would have to do is drag and drop a new file. We accept the JPEG and PNG for, for most of these options here. So if you have a screenshot or if you have a JPEG, both would work. Uh, keep in mind of the image dimensions. So it will have to um, be within this size range. Marking it active means it's visible to buyers. If I wanted to change out our, our custom splash page, all I'd have to do is drag and drop a new file. And then make sure I press save. Other images that we can add is a line sheets hero. So when you click on the line sheets tab, this is the image that appears at the top of the tab itself, not the image that is shown as your cover page of individual line sheets, but just an image that sits at the top of the, the page when you click on it. We can also add placeholders for the contacts tab. So if I click on the contacts tab, but I haven't selected a contact yet, instead of just seeing a blank page, I could see some placeholder images. Again, very easy to add this. All we need to do is drag and drop the file and make sure we press save. So for those of you who may not be admin users, a great way to check this is go to your line sheets tab. Do you have a cover image? Do we have a, uh, line sheet here image at the top of the page. Do we have a splash page when we first log in? Are there placeholder contacts? This is another way to add some lifestyle imagery. And also it gives um, you know your portal a little bit of an updated look. And I think that your buyers will definitely enjoy that. So 
Um, if I go to our line sheets tab, I just want to show you what that banner looks like. So this image right here, this is our splash page. And this new order logo, this was the image that was added as a line sheet hero. So check your portal to see if you have an image added here. Highly suggest keeping this updated seasonally. Uh, you can add a lifestyle shot, you can add a logo, um, but this is definitely a place where you can add images that spruce up your page here. So the last thing that we're going to go over is our online trade show. So I'm sure all of you know already that we have a great new feature called the online trade show. What this is, it is a way for um, buyers who are on new order to contact you by viewing a guest view of your portal. So we're going to go back in the admin and then we're going to get started with our online trade show. So we'll go to brand information and manage our marketplace profile. For those of you who have not created it, you will say, um, click here to create. For those of you who have already created it, we'll just still click this link, but the profile will already be created for you. Highly suggest getting this done sooner rather than later because buyers already have access to this new feature. So if your profile is not complete, uh, that means that you're missing out on possible connections with the buyers that are shopping through the online trade show. Especially now that a lot of trade shows have wrapped up, buyers are even more active and more engaged. So they're more likely to be shopping through this new feature. So if you don't have this set up, I uh, highly suggest doing that at your earlier convenience. So here we are viewing an example of an online trade show profile. I am currently in edit mode, so that's why I see all these fields I can edit. And also, this is not marked as visible to buyers. So you'll want to make sure that this profile isn't just completed, but it's also marked as visible so your buyers are able to um, see a guest view of your brand and then they'll be able to request access. So very simple, we have these scrolling banner images all we need to do is drag and drop or select a file to add. You'll notice here that they're scrolling, so we can add multiples. Your logo, again, very easy drag and drop. Include a little short um, info about your um, brand here. So we have uh, a profile subheading. Um, we have our category tags. So price point, you can add all of the price ranges that you offer any trade shows that you attend, and then also what category do you fit in? The category here for um, which you know category you fit in, whether it's active or contemporary designer, um, this is actually gonna be a required field. So we wanna make sure you fill this out because if a prospect of yours, if they're searching through the online trade show and they filter for active brands, and that's it, it's only going to populate brands that are tagged as active. If you have no tags, that means you show up in no searches. So just keep that in mind that you'll definitely want to make sure that you are categorizing uh, where you fit. Uh, we also have another section to add a little about. So maybe a detailed description about the brand, uh, how it's founded, uh, more details that you would want a prospect to be aware of. And then we have our downloads here. Think of your downloads as something similar to what we just saw in the media gallery, which was the assets. So this is content that you would allow a prospect to download on their own. So maybe it's uh, an about us, you know, one sheet. Maybe it's a application to be a new retailer. Um, these are just examples here, but you can easily customize that and drag and drop it here. Uh, most importantly, we'll want to edit which line sheet we want to show them. So the line sheet that we have selected here is going to show a small selection of products that you have whitelisted or allowed them to view. So here we have our Night Owl line sheet and our buyer, or our prospect buyer would be able to view a little guest preview of that line sheet. They won't see the whole line sheet, so I think it's about 15 or 16 products that they will see. 
we have our social media links. So very simple, quick edit social media links. You'll see here that we've already added, you know, facebook.com slash. All you have to do is put your brand name, whatever your Instagram, your Twitter handle is, press save. This way, if your prospect wants to view more and check out what you have on your e-com site, your Facebook, your Instagram, they can easily click it and view more. And then lastly, we have a live Instagram feed. So this is a really special feature of the online trade show because it's going to allow your prospects to see a live feed of all of the images that you have on Instagram. So all you have to do is click link your Instagram feed. It's going to prompt you to log into your Instagram page. And then anytime that a prospect views your online trade show profile, they're going to see a live feed of your Instagram, so the most recent nine pictures. And of course, that is constantly updating as you are adding new images to your Instagram page. So last step here is make sure this visible to buyers is clicked on. This means that they are able to view your profile, they'll be able to see a guest view, they'll be able to request access, and hopefully you guys can get connected and start selling to them. So these are some new features like the online trade show and the homepage. Uh, these were just released this summer. The media gallery and update your portal, we have had this um, previously, but it's really great to make sure that these are updated. That way your buyers are able to see your new products, your lifestyle images, and they're also able to be directed straight to those products through the hotspots. So I hope you enjoyed this webinar today. Um, this is live, so go ahead and type in any questions you may have. Uh, you can also reach out to our wonderful support team at heroes at neworder.com. And you can also reach out to your account manager. So have a great day, and we'll see you next week.